Welcome back. In this lecture, you will learn about the AWS Billing and Cost Management Dashboard. It's very important to understand this topic well, as sometimes you might have heard the saying, nothing comes for free in this world. That said, I always try to use resources provided by the AWS free tier and delete or remove them once I have completed my work. That way, I'm not getting charged. However, in some cases, I need to use AWS services or resources to learn or try out services that are not available in the free tier. In that case, my AWS account will incur charges. Now the question is what I can do to stay within the budget. The solution here is to set up an AWS budget alert to get a notification if I reach the threshold of my configured budget. The main purpose of this video is to understand how to set up a budget alert so that you get notified depending on how you have configured to get a notification. For example, if you have configured to get notified by email, you will get an email notification. Let's see how to set up a budget alert. Let's log in to the AWS Management Console. I'm logged in now. AWS has so many services. The quickest way to find the service you're looking for is to find it from the recently visited services. The next quick way to find a service is to search for the service in the search box. Since I'm looking for an AWS billing service, I will just type billing here, okay? As you can see, billing is displayed at the top of the search results, okay? Let me click on billing, and now I'm on the billing and cost management dashboard. As you can see on the AWS billing and cost management dashboard, there are three sections. One is cost management, the other one is billing, and the last one is preferences. The cost management section has various options for managing costs, and the billing section has options related to bills, such as finding your bills. The last preferences section has options related to setting up various configurations. For example, in billing preferences, you can set up if you want to receive invoices by email. The other important section here is cost management preferences. Here, you can check the box to receive free tier usage alerts. This is important as you will receive an alert from AWS when service usage is approaching or has exceeded the AWS free tier usage limit. Another important section in preferences is payment methods where we add payment options such as credit cards. Now we have an idea about the billing and cost management dashboard UI. Let's try to set up a budget alert as when preparing for the exam it's good to have a budget. Usually it costs around $15 as you will be using AWS free tier most of the time. For example, in my case, it costs around $15. Now, assume you have a use case where you would want to set up a budget alert for the AWS certification preparation exam so that you would get notified when you are nearing the budget threshold of 80%. The question then is, how do you set up that budget alert? You will use the Billing and Cost Management Create Budget feature. So let's see how to do that. Click on Budgets under Cost Management, then Create a Budget here. The default is Cost Budget, which is recommended. Click Next. And for the period selected annually, for the budget effective date, select Expiring Budget. The start year and end year are fine as this year, 2021, as of this recording. Next is choosing how to budget. Fixed is already selected here. And let me enter the budget amount. You can enter as low as possible to make sure that you stay within the budget. You can even set up a zero spend budget, okay? Let me enter the budget name here. This is my budget name. Then I will click next. Now add a threshold. 80% is fine. Here, the default is okay. What it means is that I will get an alert triggered when the bill reaches 80% of the budgeted amount. For notification, there are many choices. Besides email, we can use SNS and chatbots. I will enter my email. Make sure you enter the correct email address. Click Next. This page is about what action you want to take when an alert is triggered. For example, if you would like to stop, shut down, or terminate any service or resources. I'm fine here. I'm not doing any additional action here. Click Next again. Review the information on this page. If everything looks okay, click Create Budget. Now, as you can see, my budget is created, okay? Setting up a budget is very helpful to make sure you get a notification when the AWS bill reaches the budgeted threshold.